Just like any other novel technology, electric motorcycles are expensive. However, their production numbers are increasing all the time. New competitors arise and the economy of scale kicks in, resulting in the decreasing prices with each new model year. In this episode, we'll be covering the cheapest electric motorcycles currently on sale that are opening a new chapter in the zero emission city commute. Subscribe to the channel if you're a fan of electric vehicles and let's get technical. On the market since 2014, the Chinese manufacturer Evoke Motorcycles currently offers two affordable e-bike models as part of its Urban series. The S is the Italian-style naked bike, while the Classic has the looks of a vintage cafe racer. Despite different designs, the bikes share most of their mechanical components, including the new 6-inch wide brushless hub motor. It delivers 25 horsepower and 86 pound-feet of torque, enabling 81 miles per hour speeds. Starting from 2020, both get updated power controllers, ride on dual compound tires, and can cover up to 125 miles on a charge. The Chinese-based Super Soko already has an established dealership network across the European market, with its intentions to further expand worldwide. The company is currently conquering the market with three differently styled and spec models. The vintage-looking TC, the sporty TS, and the newest and most powerful TC Max Cafe Racer. These bikes are powered by a single Bosch rear hub motor with a peak output of 4 through 7 horses. The first two provide 50 miles of range and top out at 28 miles per hour speed. The Max, on the other hand, is getting close to being highway capable, topping out at 62 miles per hour and being able to travel up to 68 miles on a charge. The Austria-based Horan is an importer of popular electric motorcycles from China to Europe. In 2020, however, they are reinventing themselves by delivering to the market the first in-house developed models of e-bikes. The CR6 and CR6 Pro will be competing within the 125cc segment oriented on city commuters. The exterior design was clearly inspired by the Honda CB300R with some cafe racer hints. These bikes can cover around 80 to 90 miles on a charge, but performance-wise are far from impressive. Out of the two, the Pro version is more appealing, getting a stronger motor and a 5-speed manual transmission to increase the riding enjoyment. Your feedback about this episode is absolutely crucial, so review the entire lineup and let us know what is your favorite entry in the comments below. Like this video and let's get back to awesome EVs. Though this large sport bike from the Canadian Daymac looks quite menacing at first glance, don't let its aggressive design scare you off. 
Despite its size and sporty styling, the EM2 e-motorcycle has pretty tame performance characteristics and a modest price tag at around $2,400 U.S. dollars. The bike is brought in motion by a 500-watt powertrain that's fed by a 2.3-kilowatt-hour lead-acid battery. Its speed is very scooter-like, and it's only 20 miles per hour, while the 37-mile range should be suitable for daily commute. To increase the comfort of the rider, the EM2 gets adjustable USD front shocks and dual hydraulic front disc brakes. Out from distant Australia, Fonzarelli is an award-winning manufacturer of electric scooters and bikes, established in 2010. The company's NKD is a compact and lightweight dual-sport motorcycle that's offered in four modifications. All come powered by a mid-mounted brushless motor with belt drive that delivers from 11 to 16 horses depending on the model. The entry-level bike in the range is called NKDA. It offers 50 mile per hour speed and 31 miles of range. The top NKDX model is 12 miles per hour faster, while its range is four times longer, reaching 124 miles on a charge. Twenty twenty becomes the debut year for the Taiwanese company Auto Bikes on the European market. Their MCR model arrives powered by a fourteen horsepower liquid cooled central motor with a large battery, offering more than one hundred forty miles of range. The torque output is rated at two hundred pound feet at the rear wheel and twenty two at the shaft, while the max speed is claimed to reach eighty seven miles per hour. The two-wheeler is even more unique thanks to its rich package of standard features, including Brembo disc brakes full-color TFT screen, and a headlight with a light sensor. In addition, the bike is available in a less power modification with a hub motor and identical exterior design. Fly Free Smart Motorcycles is a California-based startup that produces comparatively affordable electric motorcycles with retro designs. At the moment, they carry three trims of the smart bike called Desert, Classic, and Old Style that have Scrambler, Cafe Racer, and Brat Style designs respectively. Moreover, the future plans also include production of Adventure and Supermoto trims. The smart motorcycles ride on the same platform equipped with a 4 horsepower electric motor and either one or two LG battery packs. The maximum achievable range reaches 100 miles with speeds up to 50 miles per hour. Among the noteworthy features we should highlight, the smart key, USB charger, informative LCD display, and a wide selection of in-house produced accessories.
Zero Motorcycles currently possess the most versatile lineup of electric bikes covering all major classes from dual sports, nakeds, and all the way to superbikes. Their most affordable model to date is the Zero FXS Supermoto that combines off-road ruggedness and on-road agility to zoom through the streets. It benefits from the in-house developed Z-Force motor with peak 27 horsepower and 78 pound-feet of torque and Z-Force lithium-ion intelligent modular battery. The 3.6 kilowatt hour battery is good for 37 miles of range in the combined cycle. By all means, this is a product from a trustworthy manufacturer equipped with premium components like adjustable Showa suspension, Bosch Gen 9 ABS, and Pirelli tires. India has one of the world's largest two-wheel fleets, so it's no wonder that the country is becoming a cradle of the rising industry of electric motorcycles. The F77 is the recently unveiled bike from the startup Ultraviolet Automotive based in Bengaluru. The newcomer has a powered sports design and comes equipped with a 34-horsepower air-cooled motor. The range is getting close to 90 miles, and the speed parameters would make it a great daily companion that will impress passers-by with its looks. Thank you for visiting our channel, subscribe if you haven't already, hit the like button and don't think twice about watching more episodes about electric vehicles. The links are waiting for you on the screen. See you later.